So in a few days, YouTube is going to force us to change to the new beta channel that they, well, they call it the beta channel, and that's what I'll refer to it in this video. They say it's like an upgrade, but I really wouldn't call it an upgrade. And I'm just going to, as briefly as possible, explain what's wrong with it. Now, you see, in the channel design that we have now, you can have 10 of your own videos displayed on your channel. You got your featured video right here, and then nine other videos that you have made. And they could be, you know, like your four, your four older videos, and then five most recent, or um, six most recent, and three older ones, or three most recent, six older ones. You know, you can organize them any way you want. But now, this new channel design, you can only have four of your own videos displayed on your channel at once your featured video, and then three of your own videos, and that's it. Now, you can go through all one person's videos if you click on see all, but then it pretty much, you, you, it plays the videos automatically, so it goes from one video to the next right after one video is over, and so it's basically designed so that way you never leave the, the user's channel. And one of the good things about YouTube, and yeah, I am saying something good about YouTube, is that, um, discovery. You can be discovered through watching someone's video because of related videos. Like, someone watches a video, and then they see someone else's video under related videos, and they're like, oh, this person makes good videos too, I'm gonna subscribe to them as well, and, you know, it, it just continues on because people keep finding other people's videos through related videos. But with this, with the way that this new channel is designed, they made it so that way you could watch all of one person's videos on their channel, and so basically you never leave their channel. Now, by all means, you don't have to watch it that way, but I actually think that there's some people on here who are just lazy enough that they would actually stay on that person's channel watching all of their videos and not going to see any other related videos. So that's another problem with the new channel design, is that it's harder to get views now because of the way that they designed it. And it's just plain bad, you know? Like, I can't really, I don't really have an explanation for this one, but it's just, it's just bad, you know? And the fact that everything can be viewed on one channel, you know, in, on, on one page, rather, instead of having to go through, like, the playlists have its own page, and the favorites have its own page, and your own videos have their own page, but no, they think it's more convenient if you can see all of that on just one page. And I could understand that, but it's easier, at least for me, to have everything have its own page and view it there than having to scroll up and down in a tiny little box that's hard to see. You know, so those are the main problems that at least I have with the new channel design, and I don't think that they're going to listen to the feedback we've been giving them, the negative feedback that we've been giving them, because, you see, YouTube is a business, and all businesses and companies only care about making money. All other concerns are secondary. However, YouTube is a badly run business, so basically it's run by a bunch of idiots who don't know what they're doing, so they have an automated system instead of actually listening to the feedback of its users. And it's because of this that they're going to force us to use the channel design anyway, even though pretty much everybody, everybody, you know, doesn't want this change to happen, or at the very least, you know, make it optional, like, you know, give us a choice. So, um, it's because that they don't care about the users and they don't listen to user output that even though everybody's fighting to make sure that this change doesn't happen, it's going to happen anyway. But you know what? I say keep it up. Keep fighting against this new channel design. The more we rebel against it, the more it will seem like a huge screw-up on their part. And um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the things that will cause YouTube's downfall, because I heard that some people are leaving because they don't like this new channel design and they don't want to be forced to use it, so... Who knows, maybe this will be one of the things that actually causes YouTube to wake up and start listening to its users rather than have an automatic system, but I doubt it because they really don't know what they're doing.